Hey Monday, how are you? And everyone else who's in it right now. Welcome back. We are still geoguessing the night away. It is Sunday at Christ 8 a.m. my time when I'm doing this. Uh Father's Day, I think, today. Ugh, I've got that waking up awful voice. Goats. I don't know what. I think got some nice hops on you, buddy. Are they all males? They can't all be all males, are they? Nah, they probably both have horns. Again, difference between horns and antlers. Antlers go away. Java update. I don't care. Go away. Thank you. All right. You do anything for your Father's Day? I didn't have to. See, my mine died a while ago, so I don't I don't have to do anything for Father's Day. I mean, you could be like, oh, this is grand. The only reason I know this is because I play Rainbow Six Siege, and this is on one of the. Uh, I think it's Rook, the guy with the armor. He has like one of his alternate expensive skins has Grendarmier on it, and that's the only reason I know that. It's not because I learned it from a book. No, it was a video game. Take that. And also, I probably would have been able to see this. Penetra's almost looks like Therme and Fet. One is shut. Fet is... Christ, that's a verb to... Make or do? Fet's also a season, I do think, too. But anyway. Latarza. I think... Uh, well, like, parent day. I always... How did I... I didn't want to... Can I get back? How did I end up on this weird dirt road? Get me back here. Thank you. I just turned it into... Uh, okay. Oh. Gas coin, huh? Alright, park. Now, does this mean we're on that island? I don't think it does. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. This is going to help. It never does because these roads are everywhere. We've learned that every time we've tried doing this is... It said, because it says D114, doesn't mean it's it, they're like on opposite sides of the country. So, just finding it doesn't always mean you're going to nail it. And I've had some bad track records with... Uh, with highway and street names with my own... Logic, just see anything having to do Brazil with Brazil these past couple of years. Years. I haven't even done this for a year yet. Brain is still not fully functioned here on a Sunday morning on Father's Day. Anyway. I don't know, do you call it Batman Day now, or is that just way too cliche? Because every time there's anything having to do with dead parents, it's always Batman this, Batman that. Or maybe it's just the circles I run in. But... I don't think I really ever did much on Father's Day anyway. My dad was never t the type who was like all about holidays. You know, we would just golf all the time. Golf in the summer, spring, fall. And then in the winter, I would go hunt. But I never really was into hunting all that much. And the only reason I mainly hated it was because I'm never going to find this where we got 10 seconds left was because... uh it involved getting up super friggin' early. Like, when we would go deer hunting, make sure this is in the... Oh, we we're down there. Fantastic. It's a thing I always would get picked on when I came up here for college. The big city, quote-unquote. This is probably Russia. Is I would say hunting. Like, the, uh... I wouldn't... There was no T. And, uh... Ing was always... Mm. So I've just been browbeaten enough, lambasted is the proper way of saying it. If you talk to my friends, they always think lambasting is more than just a verbal beating. But that's the way I learned it. Is I would, uh, I, I now say hunting. So, uh, you get up super early for deer. Oh, is that a sign? No, it wasn't. It was just a weird artifact when I was transitioning. 
whenever you would do a uh, rifle hunting for deer, you would have to get up. Now this still isn't helpful. I think we got up at like 3.30 in the morning. I mean, I was sitting there debating whether or not I should have said in the morning because 3.30, I guess, would imply, since I'm complaining about getting up super early. But anyway, yeah, I get up that early, and there'd be one, well, that I know of one local restaurant that would be open for deer hunters, <clears throat> excuse me, before they actually went out and uh, hunted. And I would always go there. Yeah, this is totally Russia. I would always go there. I would always get pancakes because I was a fat little boy who loved his pancakes. Everyone else, that was always coffee. And uh, it would take us like 45 minutes to drive out to the mountain, not mountain. Again, I'm, I'm starting to feel pretentious that I'm saying it this way, but eh, whatever. Um, we drive out there, we get to the base of the mountain, then we would all take four-wheelers up, and then from the four-wheeler trails, we would walk out to our, uh, spots where we would stand or sit and, you could do either, stand or sit for, uh, we would leave like two or three o'clock in the afternoon, so it was a good six to eight hours just sitting waiting for an animal to walk by and see if it was a deer. And if it was a deer, it would have to have antlers because in the fall, you're only allowed, well, actually any season, you're only allowed to hunt the males unless you had a doe permit, but I'm, I'm getting off track here. Can I go forward? Are we at the end of the line? No, we're not. Okay. This is even a road. Like, I'm still going to say, I'm just going to lean more this way. I, you, you don't know in Russia. And if you do, I still don't believe you. But, um, yeah, we would walk out to the spot. And like clockwork, every time I would get to where my spot was, the sun would come up, the pancakes have worked their way through my system, and it would just be me fighting off sleeping for the next two and a half hours. It was a real good use of... Uh, the permit I paid for. How can I'm surprised this car could get through here because I can only imagine getting your car stuck out here. Because I haven't seen a house or civilization. I mean, granted, something lives here because these are all sunflowers, and it kind of looks a little creepy with all these dead sunflowers everywhere. I bet you this is pretty awesome looking in the season that they're alive. But that would be my. Saturdays and Sundays for, <clears throat> I think, two or three weekends. I can't remember exactly. For a rifle. And then, eh, two seconds, great, we're done here. Yeah, okay, whatever. We were nowhere close. It's fucking Russia. We are just checking all the real exotic places off the map here. I don't know where in Africa this is. We'll see. If I can't come across a road of some sort. These are some abstract places. Oh, we've come to an intersection. There's a car that... I want to go here, because there's a car there, and that car can help me, but I guess we're going this way? Alright. I was never really... Well, can't say good, because I never saw a deer where I was sitting were my, uh, for rifle season. Um, I mean, there was always images and stuff like, hey, there looks like, okay, we got some flags here. Is this going to turn out to be Botswana again? Because that looks like the Spanish flag. Okay, that is not the Spanish flag. That is Botswana, okay. So we are in Botswana. The second time we've had a Botswana location. Hey, we found Kanye. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just click down here. I really don't know. I mean, maybe maybe it'll say around that sign might have something on it. Can I get over there? I can. All right. Here we go. This will be potentially helpful. Is that a dog or a cow? That's neither. Donkey. Um, 
It says Republic of Botswana, so we're at the border. I'm going to assume this is border. I mean, how many paved roads? Okay, there are a few. So, I mean, I'm assuming that this is on the border of South Africa, but it generally, I'm going to say it's this one. I don't know. Um, so we're going to go this way. We're going to see some signage here. If we can get back on the road. Bus stop here. That's cool. Um, but back to the hunting thing. Ooh, we got a sign. We've got a sign. You fuckers. You blurred the thing out the entire time. Why would you do that? How can I... Alright. This entire game, or at least in this area, K, I'm going to say this K-G-O-T-I-A. Is there anything close to that? Let's zoom in. Okay, there really isn't. So I have a minute to try to find if it's on, this is all assuming it's on the border here, where this is. Okay. That's a cool little K-G-O-T-I-A. I don't know. That's a, okay, that is not. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ngoma? No, that's clearly not that. But as we're looking at this, I'm going to get through this stupid, pointless story at some point. The deer hunting. Did not, I was not as successful at as it, at it, at, ugh, I can't, all right. I was not as successful at it as I could have been with other things that I went hunting with my father with, which was, this is the closest thing, and it's not that. Wait, did I click? I think, no. But they did where to, all right, where was I? Farther up? Okay. Those are... Okay. Am I even close to a... Cotilla thing? I don't see it anywhere. That's assuming that's... The town name and not just some fucking... Uh, like, maybe that was a school? If that was a school or whatever this was? Okay, is this going to help me immediately? Yeah, this is Columbia. Yeah, it's Columbia. Alright. So... Uh, excuse me. Rifle. I went for, for the first couple of years, I had to sit with my dad just because I was young and they probably didn't trust me enough to uh, have my own place to sit. So I had to sit with him for a while, but thanks to my genetics, I had a uh, terrible foot like circulation in my feet. My feet would get cold. So I had to walk around with a sleeping bag and foot warmers. So I would sit there in this old World War II sleeping bag that my uh, grandfather had that I took. And it'd sit there in a milk crate so I wouldn't get all dirty sitting on the ground and all nasty from uh, just random detritus on the ground. That looks tasty. Um, And I'd sit with him for a while and he would look one direction, I would look the other. And that was... Pretty much the entire day. I can't remember. I don't think we ever really talked about anything. You really can't because you want to pay attention to uh, potential deer that will be coming. And um, never did when I was there. I don't know if it was because I was just being like a bored kid. Bored out of his mind but felt the obligation to go hunting with the dad because you felt like it was a thing to do. And I don't think your mom would have let you stay home. So you had to go. Um, or maybe he just wanted me to go. There was that possibility, too. There was that. There was also, um, duck. Which, compared to any other thing you would go hunting for, you definitely do shoot more. Your arm gets sore from all the shots you have, but... Um, what else was there? There was turkey. Turkey was fun. Because you don't think turkeys are... Like some sort of amazing creature. Or maybe you just don't even think about it. But they have amazing eyesight. There was a reason why Ben Franklin wanted that to be the 
national bird instead of the eagle. There's some argument to be made for it, I guess, but maybe it's be just because it's the turkey looks ugly like a ball sack head compared to the eagle that actually looks kind of nice, but I wonder if that's just because of what it is and because it's a representation of the country, you were like, well, of course it's going to look majestic because of what it's representing. So maybe you think of it as higher up than it is, but I don't know. Um, L Terminal. What do, we, what do we sell here? Hardware stuff? We got some wires and paint and whatnot. I don't know what city this is here. Medellin. I don't see any water anywhere, but I don't know if this is really going to... Unless I, like, see a sign that tells me exactly what this is. I just know it's Colombia, and I don't think I'm going to find anything else. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. But Turkey was fun just because... Well, actually, anything that wasn't deer I enjoyed way more because you got up later. It was just mostly a morning you would do it, and by the afternoon you were done. Unless you got... The thing you were hunting for then you were done for the season and then you're like great i don't have to get up super early anymore i'm just gonna hang out at home although that never happened with me at least for deer but turkey a couple of times and i don't i'm always curious as far as like things i do oh oh it was up north in the country okay see i'm getting like the country right i think on everyone and then it's just like, yeah, you're right, but you're kind of like on the wrong side of the country, so you're not going to get that many points. And we're not going to get that much today, I don't think. Unless I jinx, jinx myself on this one. Um, this is Europe again, I'm going to say. I just don't know where. Like, the big thing... Oh, there was cactuses here, so this is probably Spain... Or Portugal, because I can't tell the fucking difference between the two. Well, there's no music here. That's 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 too set, too sad, too bad. Make up some right words here. Like you know, we when I was kind of done before I went to college, I kind of stopped hunting after that, and I always kind of romanticized the thought of going back just because you have some distance to it. This looks real nice. You have some distance to it, and you're like, that eh, wasn't that bad. And then the second you do it, I'm like, oh, I remember why I dislike this. But you kind of sometimes need that reminder, I guess. Um, is this Italy? Is this Spain? I can't tell. It's Portuguese, Spanish, and Italian to me. It's just, it just bleeds all together. I've, like, second-guessed myself so hard here. Like, I need to see, like, little accent signs and stuff, and then I'll be able to figure it out, but none of these have it. Yeah. Get me to these nice villas. Are there cactuses in Italy? Maybe that'll help. This is SS18. Let me just check to see if SS is an Italian thing. Let's see, we've got, yes, we've got SS. All right, so we're in Spain. SS18. SS18, all right, here we go. How long is this fucking road? It probably spans the whole god, spans the whole goddamn country. This is 110 kilometer here. I think it stops here. Potentially. But I've always been curious about other countries as to, like, if or any, any of you guys actually do hunt. Can you just go ahead and do it? Do you need permits? What's, like, the animal everyone always talks about is the thing you hunt? Like, some other country, it'd be like, yeah, we hunt. It's, it's moose season, and that's the thing that all the kids are excited about when they're first learning. Or that's the thing they learn. This thing is going to go for a long, oh my Christ. So, SS-18 is like a massively long highway that seems to end. No, it doesn't. E Jesus. All right. Uh, I'm just going to click here because 
I don't see any water, so maybe that's a thing to consider. So maybe here? I'll click here. Like, I know that there's some Scandinavian. Is it moose, or am I just being like, there's no moose up here, it's all elk and caribou? Is that the thing? Um... What are some of the other countries I got? I got a little bit of time left. What are just whatever is like the big thing around where you guys live? Just to get some perspective. Is it like, hey, all right, I had some Russian ones. Is it bears? Oh, I just went right through this. This is a cool little town. I like this. It's a good thing to end on, I guess. Hopefully I was near because this highway is super long. I want to say it's in the south, and that's definitely in the south here. Here we go. That wasn't that far off. Yeah, it was pretty close. We were in the town of Futani. That's cool. I like that. I don't know if I gave anybody else any stars this round, but that one earned it. I actually got a higher score than I thought I would have. But hey, that's a Monday, folks. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell me anything about the uh, hunting thing, if you have any anecdotes. If not, tell me anyway. I'm all ears. But uh, for everyone here, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Check out some of the other stuff on the channel if you got some time. Um, not sure if there's going to be a Tuesday or Thursday thing this week. Evo is a giant flake, and I don't know why I rely on it. I should be expecting this by now because I've known it for so long, but it's a surprise every time. But anyway. Thank you all for watching. We will see you next time. Have a good day. I'm going to try to.